Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be breaking down the anatomy of a flamenco shoe. Let's get started. Now look at these three shoes that I have in front of me. Although they look very similar, there are differences about them. Let's take a look. First of all, let's start with the black shoe. This is a professional flamenco shoe. Let's look at how beautiful it is. It's got a wide strap and a thick buckle, big buckle, and a really hard toe sturdy heel. The heel is often made of rosewood. And let's look at the bottom. This is where it gets really exciting. So you see all of those little nails at the tip of the toe and the heel? That is what you will find in a professional flamenco shoe. Also, you see the stitching along the bottom? Professional flamenco shoes are made by hand. So they will be stitched, and this one is actually single stitched if they're really, really durable. They'll be double stitched. You have rubber on the bottom so you don't slip and slide all over the stage. And it's got a nice sexy uh, snakeskin detail to it. The second pair of shoes looks very similar. However, this is a student model. Why? Well, first of all, there is no stitching on the bottom, as you can see, although there are nails. This might not last as long as this other shoe that I just showed you. And, and it's a beautiful bone color suede. Suede is really good for wide feet and hard to fit feet. So if that's you, this might be the way to go. And if you're new to flamenco, it also might be the way to go because it has a very low heel. Now this shoe, I love this shoe. Um, it's also a professional shoe. However, you notice there are no nails. This is a classical Spanish shoe. Usually classical Spanish dancers focus on the upper body and a lot of movement around the stage, perhaps not so much footwork. So they have more of a, this actually is just leather bottom. Now one thing that you might want to be careful about is once this wears down, the stitching might show, so you might want to have that rubberized, and also it's a lovely suede. This served me well very recently when I was dancing on a glass stage. Yes, I do mean glass, tempered glass, but nevertheless, it was frightening. And the nails on my professional flamenco shoes sounded like tap. Tap dancing sounds very different than uh, flamenco shoes, and we didn't want that sound. We didn't want a high click. We wanted a nice, rounded, deep sound. One other thing about the professional flamenco shoe I'll go back to is that oftentimes it's made with a rosewood heel. This is actually an, a musical instrument. So keep that in mind as you learn about flamenco and you keep dancing. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Visit my website for more in-depth flamenco dance technique, choreography, and more.